You have been through the most tumultuous, difficult year. You have, in certain sections of the American media, been vilified. You've lost friends. Just explain to me what life is like for you today. Well, certainly it is different than it was a year ago, the same time. Um, it's, it's different in that I'm not able to do the same work that I was doing, which was very active in racial and social justice work with the NAACP, with the Police Ombudsman Commission. And to remind people who don't know, you were president of the Spokane, Washington State chapter of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. It was an important position, absolutely right. at the center of local civil rights issues. Right, as in, in an unpaid position, along with the other unpaid position I was um, in, over at the time was the chair of Police Ombudsman Commission for this city for police accountability and transparency, which is again another national civil rights issue going on in America. And um, my other two jobs, the, the ones that were paid, were um, being a professor of black studies at the Eastern Washington University Africana um, program, and then also I was writing for the Inlander and, and you lost all those positions. One way or another, you lost them all. Right. And, and I mean, how do you make money today? Well, to be quite honest, I am running, r running right up to the end of my unemployment and have just secured a book deal, so I'll, I'll be writing through the summer for, right. for that. But it's been very tight circumstances financially for the last year. To the outsider like me, it seems, in a sense, straightforward. You lost all of those positions and you ran into a, a storm of controversy because you had passed yourself off as something you were not. That is, a black American woman activist, when obviously you were a woman activist, but it seems you weren't black in the way people thought you were. Well, I, I guess um, some people treated June, the, the media, uh, expose about my identity, which when your was a big, story which came a big out. frenzy, yeah. right? So as like an outing, like I was outed as a white woman. I personally, how I experienced it was more. Uh, it wasn't coming out. It was being put back in the closet, only a closet that has glass walls. I mean, really, it was being told the world being told that I was something that I'm not, that I don't identify as. So um, I felt like it was really, you know, not the entire world's business who my biological parents were, how I was born, or what my whole childhood story was.